It's time once again for The Law and You. Joining us from home today, we have attorneys Ed Saramboli and Greg Fellerman back once again. Nice to see both of you. How's it been? It's good. I got my uh, Fellerman and Saramboli quarantine jacket on, my <laughs> quarantine hat. I'm ready to go today. It's a step up from the PJs. All right, hey, let's get yeah, to yes, this. Haley, before we get started, I just want to wish my daughter, who's over my uh, shoulder here, a happy 21st birthday. So I hope she has a great day. Happy birthday. You better have some quarantinis. Quarantinis. Yes, I like that. All right. Now let's get to, to the question her. of the day from a viewer. This comes from Matt in Bloomsburg. He says, can a local government close down a business that has been determined to be life-sustaining under the governor's order? All right. Ed, want to start with you? Well, yeah. So, you know, it, it really, it really does depend. First of all, if the business has been determined to be life-sustaining, however, they're still having an amount of people that doesn't meet the CDC guidelines, then yes, the governor can close them down. You could have a life-sustaining business that stays open, but they must, they absolutely must be in strict compliance with the CDC guidelines. And, and that really, you know, the, that, with, the, with those guidelines, if you're a life-sustaining business, you should be following those guidelines anyway. Yeah, I, I agree with that on that. I think, you know, at the end of the day, if you're operating a business under the, the governor's order, you have an obligation to do it under the law and be, you know, following all those guidelines. And some businesses, sometimes, yeah. you know, they, they don't expect the crowd, the crowd shows up. you got to control that crowd. It's on you. And if not, I think local state can close you down. So if you're, if you're in that position where you're dealing with people, please do it safely. All right, guys, thanks so much for the advice. Give them a call, find them online. And if you have more questions for the law on you, go to pahomepage.com or give the hotline a call.